Let's do it. Hello, wrestling world, and welcome to Wrestling on the Rise, episode 26, where we talk anything and everything about wrestling. I'm your host, Rich Michaels, and on this episode, we got some news and rumors on NXT and Defiant Wrestling. Also, we got some updated news on New Japan Pro Wrestling and Impact Wrestling. And I'm also going to give you a preview of Barry Wrestling's Decimation event and results of last episode's What Moves You and a new matchup about tag team finishers. So, let's start the show with NXT news. So, NXT is definitely the best WWE program on television, despite only being an hour. But, the talk about NXT as of late is, who is the number one contender for the NXT championship? So, at some NXT tapings last week, it was announced that there will be four single matches with the winners of each match to face off in a fatal four-way number one contendership match. It was Trent Sevens versus Killian Dane, and then Cassius Ono versus Johnny Gargano, and then Roderick Strong versus Lars Sullivan, and then Aleister Black versus Adam Cole. And then at the fatal four-way match, Johnny Gargano won. Now, people that were in attendance at the tapings posted results on social media, but for some reason, the NXT officials decided they want to change it up. So instead of Gargano winning and taking the spot for number one contendership, they announced on WWE.com the matches would take place instead. Cassius Ono versus Velveteen Dream, Aleister Black versus Adam Cole, Killian Dane versus Trent Sevens, and Roderick Strong versus Lars Sullivan. So now, Johnny Gargano is scrapped from the number one contenders match, and for some reason, nobody knows why. So tell me what you guys think in the comments, because I smell a fishy storyline coming on here. Mm. So Barry Wrestling wraps up an unforgettable year of 2017 with decimation on December 9th in Barry, and on the card is Sebastian Suave versus Rip Impact and then we have Beautiful Bia versus Silesia Sparks with a special referee and then for the Barry Wrestling Heavyweight Championship Tyson Dukes versus Gabriel Freza and in the main event a steel cage match between Lionel Knight and his mystery partner versus Shane Sabre and Jazz the Heartless also set to appear is Von Vertigo, Jim Nye the Science Guy, and a match with two students from the Hamilton Pro Wrestling Academy. And of course, the King of the North, Carter Mason, speaks on his actions in the past six months at Barry Wrestling. So come out and check out Decimation on December 9th at 49 Ferris Lane in Barry. So, New Japan Pro Wrestling's Tag League is on day 16 and currently in A Block. Evil and Sonata have 8 points, while in B Block, the team of Beretta and Chucky e. T and the Gorillas of Destiny all have 8 points also. With a couple days left of the tournament, a lot can change in short's notice. So watch the rest of it only on njpwworld.com. Now it's time for What Moves You. Last episode, we asked who does the best shooting star press. And it was actually a shocker with 46.4%. Reborn Matt Seidel was voted the best. I honestly thought that Billy Kidman had this one in the bag. Um, he was actually the first person I saw do a shooting star press. Uh, but that doesn't matter because all y'all voted your favorite. So thank you all to whoever voted. And now for this episode, we want to know who has the best tag team finisher. And here's your options. Total elimination by the Eliminators. Shatter Machine by the Revival. 3D by the Dudley Boys. Doomsday Device by the Legion of Doom. So don't forget to vote for what moves you in the comments below. Or you could also vote on Twitter and Instagram at Wrestling on the One. And you could also vote on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash wrestling on the rise. Defiant Wrestling had their debut event, We Are Defiant, in Newcastle, England. 
And although no title changes happened, uh, they debuted new championships with the defiant logo on it. The World Heavyweight Championship, Women's Championship, and the Tag Team titles all had changes done to them. And they look absolutely beautiful. But missing was the internet title. And as of for the Hardcore Championship, current champion Primate was seen giving the title his own makeover. Um, but shockingly, or actually surprisingly, an appearance by Austin Aries, who is now part of the Defiant roster, is aiming for the Defiant Championship. So, a match between him and Marty Skrull is definitely going to be happening on a horizon. Yes, finally, Impact Wrestling is officially a Canadian wrestling promotion. This week, they moved Impact Wrestling's headquarters from Nashville, Tennessee to Toronto, Ontario, Canada. So hopefully we see more Canadian talent wrestling for Impact. I mean, I'm just so happy that they realized the potential for the market here and the talent we have to offer. But sad to say, this is the reason that some wrestlers have asked for their release from the company. Already, uh, people like James Storm and Bobby Lashley who have been granted their requests. Hopefully, this doesn't stop the Impact Wrestling sky-high ratings, which they have been getting as of lately. Alright, so hopefully everybody enjoyed watching episode 26, but unfortunately, that's all we have for you for this episode. So make sure everybody votes for what moves you in the comments below, and you can also vote on Twitter and Instagram at WrestlingOnTheOne. And then you could also vote on our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash WrestlingOnTheRise. All right, for episode 27, I will be at Barry Wrestling's Decimation. I will try to have some highlights and some interviews for you guys for next episode. But until then, I'm Rich Michaels. This is Wrestling on the Rise. Peace. See you next week.